serious business. This is not alternative energy, you know, alternative lifestyle. This is serious business. We're talking hundreds of billions of dollars. And that outlook, it just looks like it's going to continue to grow. In terms of active investors, we're seeing the whole range. We're seeing venture capitalists, private equity players, we're seeing M&A bankers, we're seeing IPO bankers, we're seeing uh, project finance equity players, debt providers, hedge funds, pension companies, uh, insurance companies. There isn't, a, there isn't a class of investor that's not already active now. We've really seen a transition from um, specialists and marginal players carrying the bat on to mainstream industry mainstream finance carrying the bat on. The market forces are absolutely there, and the fact that carbon is getting priced into transactions, it's absolutely a uh, boom business. It's my pleasure to be here every year we come back and start with a some sense of what is the status of renewable energy finance in America. We have seen fantastic growth exceeding many of our expectations in venture capital investment in technology companies, in renewable energy IPOs, in project finance, and perhaps most heartening for the long haul in the commitment of major institutional investors to renewable energy. From our perspective as a long-term investor, a large public pension fund now, 250 billion and growing, uh, it's, it behooves us to be aware of global economic trends that have the possibility of creating risk that would cause us to have to respond as part of our fiduciary responsibility. I believe Wall Street gets it. Uh, the financial community, not just Wall Street, but the global financing community, has uh, uh, in, a way, in a sense led the way in investing. They're out ahead in terms of carbon cap and trade. They're out ahead in uh, the applications of renewable energy, even before we in the United States have a renewable energy standard. There is an amazing sense of momentum uh, and confidence in these technologies, in, in these companies, uh, and in these markets. In the audience today, you've got a full house of uh, people that uh, are world class at doing exactly that, taking a capital cost and turning it into a cost of energy. Uh, as a business, it's, it's grown dramatically, uh, and it's really gone from being a, a, a backwater in the energy business, a very small segment to, while, while it still is a total piece if you look at the pie chart of where energy comes from, it's still a small amount. The important thing is to look at new investment and you'll see it actually is a very significant piece of new investment and my expectation is that's going to continue. In 2004 we started to see some very interesting capital markets transactions in Europe, primarily Germany around solar power and we, so we reconstituted our group. So we have a dedicated team of professionals. Uh, in Asia, in Europe, and in the United States. Our primary uh, areas of interest are biofuels, solar, and wind. However, uh, we have actually uh, very involved with fuel cell technology, microturbine technology, demand side management technology. We've done transactions in all three of those areas. And so it's, it's a very important practice uh, for Credit Suisse. Climate change is an issue that energy security is an issue. And it's not just um, kind of the think tanks and the NGOs, et cetera, that understand this. It's the soccer moms that understand it. And it's now, um, I think, from a tipping point perspective, um, the board of directors uh, of all of the major corporations. My perspective is very optimistic. Uh, we've had four drivers for renewable energy. Uh, you know, one is the increasing cost of energy. You have a whole population of people around the world that are transitioning to higher consumption levels, and it means consumption of oil. Um, and, and so we're seeing that as a big driver that, that will not see oil going back to its old prices. We're seeing a no, the notion of national security depends upon uh, independence from foreign energy. You've got an aging energy infrastructure, but probably most importantly is the environmental sensitivity uh, that uh, is so important. Climate change is real. It's an issue that has to be addressed globally and renewable energy is going to play an extraordinarily important part uh, going forward. In 2006, the winners were solar, wind and biofuels in that order and that represented about 56% of the IPOs that were completed and this is uh, US, and, uh, US and abroad. 
Well, the big news is in that 2007 year to date, M&A activity has totaled 43 billion. We're already 106% of last year, we're only halfway through the year. We believe that the industry has sufficient capital base, sufficient growth demand that is going to continue to long-term growth. Basically, for the first time in a long time, we're having a serious conversation about renewable energy in uh, Washington. I'm very impressed with the sophistication of ideas and people here. Uh, we've not seen it like this before. It's a new day. And so you Goldman Sachs's and the Merrill Lynch's and the UBS's and the cities and, uh, and J.P. Morgan and, and uh, Morgan Stanley and so forth, all these firms are now involved in our space. And they bring something very special. Uh, and they are raising the sophistication and the professionalism. And that's a great thing to do.